Good morning, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. In this short video, I'm going to show you four different ways to select an item on a desktop. Now, a couple of them you will already know. We have covered these before, but there are uh, another couple which, uh, well, hopefully you will find useful. Let's, let's just start by drawing a circle, a perfect circle, so I'm going to hold down the control. The first way to select that circle is to simply go up to the select tool and there you go it is selected now let's just say you want to select the circle and the text here well the way the quickest way to do that is make sure that one item is selected hold down the shift key and then click on the second one now they are both selected and if you wanted to group those together then you could click on the group selected objects here and now those are grouped well we don't want to do that let, let's just undo that another way to select both of those items together is literally to go up here to the select all tool and now they're both selected again you can group those in the same way let's undo that a third way to select both of them is to click Control A. That's a keyboard shortcut. Exactly the same thing happens there. You probably already know those. Um, so let's just take you to one which I find particularly useful. And I find it useful when I'm working with text. So let's have a look at the uh, Facebook AdWords text here. I'm going to duplicate that. And I duplicate quickly by right clicking. Now I'm going to make that white, no I'm not, I'm going to make that blue actually, and then I'm going to remove that one step down to bring the black to the forefront. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut key, uh, sorry, the keyboard arrow keys just to give a three dimensions there. Now let's say I want to select all of those. But I actually don't, I, I want to select both of those, but I don't want to select the circle, i.e. I don't want to perhaps choose um, control A or select all. But I do want to join these two texts together. The quickest way that I find to do that, and the easiest way, is to draw a rubber band, or drag a rubber band if you like, around those two items. And simply hold down the left mouse and draw a square around that and those are now are both selected. Let's say I want to go up to group then I can move these around very easily with no bother at all. So that's the easiest way that I find to select with items which are very close to each other or indeed on top of each other and I hope you have found that helpful. If you've got any questions or comments about the video please come and visit us on our Facebook fan page. You can find us at the address shown now on the screen. But that's all for this video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. And until then, goodbye.